Hebrews 11, 1 to 2, he says, By the 11, Now one to faith two. is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Uh, let, us, let me read two. For by this kind of faith, by the men of old gain divine approval. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to continue with what I was telling my visitors. I want to talk about the, there's a challenge in your faith. Challenge of your faith. Just write it down. Challenge of your faith. Challenge of your faith. We need to understand what is faith. I According to what we have read there, you will say that faith, you get it from the Bible. Yeah. Faith, you get it from the word. You can move. You can meet a challenge. It can move and meet a challenge. It can move and meet a challenge. But it comes to us when we hear God. Listen to this. Whatever we hear from God is perfect. Is what God wants to do with us. So, having faith and believing that God wants to do one to three things. Automatically, you understand that he will do it. Faith is to know what God says he will do. I'm defining faith in my own understanding. Is to know what will happen. Faith is to know what will happen. What God says will happen. You see, faith comes because you are hearing. You are hearing God says, live there, you live. The reason why you live is because you heard, you believe, you move. So faith here can be challenged. I was beginning to learn that we are making a great mistake of not understanding what God has promised. If true God is not alive, if he has promised, why do we force him to bring the promise? In other words, faith limit us from prayers. It limits us from some prayers of asking. Because we know that what he said he will do. I must believe and he will do it. So the reason why we are facing those challenges is to challenge what you God has spoken he will do. As if God will lie, he won't do it. Hallelujah. In verse 2 it says, The men of old gain divine approval. In other words, we have got examples of some people who lived before who lived by faith and God approved them to receive what he has spoken. So you can see the reason why you are challenged or your faith is challenged so that what he said will come you won't think he will come after this service what he has promised you you will receive it in Jesus name Matthew 21 verse 21 says faith make us to function on God's will. 
Matthew 21, 21. Matthew 21, makes us to function on God's will. Automatically, when the men of old were approved, were taken to where God wills. When God wants to put them to riches, He have to check their faith and approve them for those riches. I don't know if you are hearing that. If you see that scripture, it shows that God wants us to function well in his will. I don't know if you're hearing that. So faith is there to take us to receive things the way God wants us to receive. To walk the way we are supposed to walk. To act the way we are supposed to act. That is faith. So when it's challenged, it's for us to do the difference. It's for us to find ourselves living lives we are not ordained to live. We are not ordained to live. I want to function well in God's will. How many of you want to do that? I want to tell you if you are in God's will, any challenge serves a purpose. If you are taken aside to pay, it's part of preparatory to reach there. When God wants to take you somewhere, you can be taken somewhere, taken somewhere, taken somewhere. If you are in His will, everything works purposely to take where God Many of us sometimes we are doomed. Sometimes we meet things we feel we are not supposed to be meeting. But faith when we are holding on to it whatever you meet it defies you to a level of the promise. Listen to this. If I've got faith that month end someone will give me money. Can I still pray about that? How can you pray on what belongs to you? In other words, faith makes us to acquire what God has prepared for us. Faith makes us to acquire what God has prepared for us. Many of us we are outside of His will. Why? Because faith has been challenged. When your faith is being challenged, you get out of, out of his way. You begin to live someone's life. It is easy to copy someone. You take someone and you find you are a failure tomorrow. Many people are influenced by others. Can you tell me you are not doing it for anybody. Do you know that there are some people when they do things it's like they are doing it for someone. When they are eating bread it's like they are eating for you. They are way for you. So faith makes you to be perfect in what God has created you for. But when faith is not the same as the same as the same as the same is challenge. What kind of life are you going to live? Can you ask your neighbor? If your faith is challenged and you fail, what kind of life are you going to live? Let me show you something. I found that in the last days in 2 Timothy 3 I want us to read there. 
The Bible says, because we are in the last days, we can read this. These are the last days. Second Timothy, Timothy three, chapter three. It says, verse one. one. But understand this: that in the last days, dangerous times of great stress and trouble will come. It's like difficult days that will be hard to bear. For people will be lovers of of self, lovers of money, uh, impelled by greed, lustful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, profane, unloving, human affection, closed, and irreconcilable, malicious gossip. Devoid of self-control. If you can read all this, you find that if you are in God's will, if your faith is functioning the best, if you are not challenged by this, there is nothing that Satan can do to you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen. We are in the last days. There is a challenge. We will have all kinds of people. We will have people that will offend you. So that you won't reach where God wants you to reach. But I'm here to tell you. Such people. If you read going down. The Bible says they won't go far. Why? Because you are the one who's supposed to go far. I don't know if you're hearing me. That challenge, challenge is not there to stop you. That shame is not there to stop you. Listen, your faith must be challenged. But overcome that challenge. Can you tell us, my friend? Overcome that challenge. Listen, if you overcome that challenge, you can get away from them. You can overtake them. You can be better than them. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are four things there. Number one is there will be a sin character that nullify what we claim call faith. And you will meet such people who have got sin character that will nullify your faith so that they challenge that faith and they become zero to where God has destined you. Why? Because they are there to find God what God has laid on you. Can I tell you this? If you are here, I want to tell you that you are a candidate an example that God wants to raise. But when your faith is being challenged, understand that if you overcome, there is a victory in front of you. Don't look at the challenge. Don't look at the challenge. Don't look at the challenge. Look beyond the challenge. Because what what brought the challenge? It is your faith. What brought that sin? What brought that opposition? What brought that shame and poverty? Is because of your faith. Your faith is your license to your destiny. Once you have it, you can fast for where you are going. You are guaranteed. That's why the Bible says in the affidavit on a title deed. You have got a title deed already you own what, what cannot be seen by me. So you are being challenged to lose what God has given you. I don't know if you're hearing that. Thank God you are here today. I heard this is a message of charist people. You charist people. You are losing your faith. You are losing your faith. You are getting things that you have never seen before. Because you are losing your faith. You are losing your faith. You are getting things that will never take you forward. But I'm here to tell you whatever that is challenging 
your faith is there because of the brighter future because of the success that is about to come to you then Lord you are being challenged but you are not dying there so somebody say yes I'm facing challenges but I'm not dying yet I'm facing troubles but it's not over with me listen to this before you reach somewhere that faith must be challenged you know I I found that my faith was challenged nicely you know when I was in New York I'm just telling you about it when people are saying what they are saying there was some, another lady that was disturbing us there. Even insulting my wife. And say, these people are here for money. And then I said, Mama was saying, ah, I can't answer this lady. Because she doesn't know where I come from. You know, that's how you overcome challenge. Someone is bringing a challenge. You say, I've got nothing to do with this person. You know, that particular person challenged Mama. Challenged Mama. When I met her, I was already told what she's doing. Influencing people so that they must not come and see me one on one. They are wasting their money. When I met her, she says, Hallelujah. I look at her, I say, how are you? How are you? And she passed. She, she came standing in front of me. I did like this and I passed. I've got nothing to do with her. People who are challenging you, but you've got nothing to do with them. There are your steps to a higher level. Can I tell you this? When I reach here, that man, Pastor Rogers in America, called me. I say, do you remember the lady who was telling people not to come to you? I said, yes. He says, she got accident. She's injured. And the car is finished. I said, thank you, Lord. And he says, she's injured. I said, oh, sorry. I didn't want her to be injured. I wanted her to see that the Lord is good. But God went beyond that. There are some people who are there to prove that God is with you. This year, they will know that God is with you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I said there are some people here. The devil is using them to challenge your faith. To challenge your faith. To challenge your faith. And you are holding on. And the life is tough around you. But you are holding on. I want to tell you. They will see you celebrating this year. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you ask around here. If you know people talking. The gossip, the liars. Who are talking how we are bad here. But they can't stop the life we are living. Listen, when people speak about you, don't answer. They can't stop the life you are living. They must not affect your faith. They must not stop you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Carry on doing what is good. Carry on worshiping him. Carry on blessing him. There you go. Devil knows you are closer than before. You are closer to your miracle than before. I see people here who are closer to their miracle than before. Don't allow anything to affect your road. Press on on your free way. Don't allow the challenge to stop you on the road. Press on. Overtake. Carry on. Reach your destiny. Allow them to talk. Allow them to fight you. I will promise 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 you.
promotion no when a challenge challenge we won is your promotion in our promotion ya mutsa in i know my challenge like at the challenge is my promotion i will give you a promotion when i face it ah tell you go para ni chona god papa has brought it not for me what did this it i would hear for someone to know what you want to do that i'm saving the living god i'm to more pila i'm here to tell you like a model of what you are facing a challenge you go para ni challenge am pila but i will tell you this week veke yo na this week veke yo na ye not next week when i This week, that challenge is over. I say it's over. I see you with the testimony. I see you shining. I see you. I'm seeing you. The challenge of your faith is defeated. I say it's defeated. Listen Lalela Many people but you haven't they know you by your challenge Sima when I got the challenge I will pay tell you this Eric you tell us say Don't they know you by your challenge They will see more challenge you like They will search your past They will never find your past They will never find your past again They will never find your past again Listen Lalela They know you by your mistakes Sima got the post of your failure by your failure And I got no pale you have got you will challenge Let me ask you now you will the problem And I pay what you like to pay I have to tell you Like you more to lose it I will go Lalela my team will be He's wrapping the full steps of the past. I see you moving forward. Nobody will approach you again. And become better than you. If you believe, shout. I have a lawyer. Hallelujah. 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 Your faith must be challenged. You must laugh when you see challenge. You can you can tell prophet Emmanuel I was uh, I was speaking with I was laughing this week laughing. I'm sure you have never seen me like that. Is it true? Eh? What did I say? I was laughing. I was laughing. Is it true? 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 I don't need anything. I get to kiss him because it's God who provides. I don't know if you're hearing me. I get to be alone. God is the one who knows what I want. I don't need anything. You don't need anything. God knows what you want. He will provide for you. I say He will provide for you. Listen. When your faith is challenged, it's a very painful thing. Don't ever think a challenge of faith is nice. I will tell you why. Because faith is not found outside you. It's found inside you. So now you are challenged inside. So challenge you, are you can smile outside. But inside, you are crying. And some people, they might be knowing your challenge, but deep down you are hurting. But listen to this. Though you are seeing that hurt, there is something that you know. God has promised. He said, "All my promises." Ah, uh, what? Ki a what? Ki a all my promises. Despite what you are facing, all the promises. Ah, uh, yes, and a amen. A imeleki ame. Yes, you can see that for. But there is something Mara beyond that. that for. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me show you another scripture. In Hebrews 11, verse 6 to 7. By Hebrews 11, verse 6 to 7. I want us to read that verse. You see. It was not easy. Little one or little one, Chad, even all. Hebrews eleven, verse six and seven. I read By this. Hebrews eleven, six, seven. I said we are just reading the Bible without checking. But without faith, that's what we know. It is impossible to please Him. For whoever comes near to God must believe that God exists and that He rewards those who. Seek him diligently. Look at verse seven. Verse seven. By faith, with confidence in God and His word, Noah, being warned by God, 
about events not yet seen in reverence prepared for the salvation of his family. By this he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness which, is come, which comes by faith. I was reading these two verses. I found that normally, normally we finish, we read, we finish verse 6. Who comes to God must believe he is. Look at the, this first example. You comes to God. Confidently, the man was told that the waters will come and fill the earth. And the Bible says he believed God. He had faith. By faith, he prepared. Listen, he didn't say he built it. He says he prepared. You know what is preparation? There is foundation. In preparation, there is foundation. And before foundation, there is gathering. This man was like a stupid. He began to go to the bush and cut some trees. And you know, he cut many. To extend that people around, they began to say, hey, 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 this is not for the woods now. What are you doing? He began to speak and say, hey, God spoke with me. And I believe in the waters will come, the rain is coming, will fill the whole world. They laugh at him. And the Bible says, he carried on. They look at him. They didn't know that he was looking at the day in the last day. He was looking at that last day. They were laughing here, but there was the last day. I don't know if you are hearing me. He was busy with the ark. When he was busy, I sure they used to come and stand. Since you were born, have you ever found the whole world being finished with water? You are crazy. It was like his effort was useless. But it was out of obedience that he was hearing God and does something Knowing the the end, end, the last Can I tell you this? When God speaks, prepare yourself. Deal with yourself with what He says. Because there's a last day. In the last day, you are the one to love last. In the last day, your faith will be visible. It can be challenged when you are gathering. It can be challenged when you are gathering. You are trying to do what you say. But they will be the last day. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can I tell you this? What our problem is? We don't know what God will do. If you know what God will do, you will run to the Lord. You will run to the Lord. You will run to the Lord. Go back and deal with yourself and obey him. Walk by his status. Follow him. And when you are doing that, the last day will come. Just say, my friend, laugh at me. But there's a last day. Laugh at me. But there's a last day. Talk about me. But there's a last day. You can challenge my faith. But in the last day, my God will show you. This happened at the time of Elijah. When Elijah said, I know I'm alone. You are in a group. And you are many. Almost 1,000. But I serve God alone. Can I tell you? Okay, can you just Let's see. In the day, the God that will answer my fire. Let's see if your God will answer. Let us see if your God will answer. They did what they did. They cut themselves. But the last day, in the last minute, this man brought fire from heaven. Can I 
tell you this there are people who are looking at you because your faith is challenged but can I tell you there is the last day that last day they will say the Lord is God the Lord is God it happened by the time of Elijah all the people who were around began to praise God of Elijah and they are here to tell you that people are bound to praise your God today I am here to tell you they are looking at your challenge they know the last minute they don't know their last minute in their last minute you will show them that is a lie can I prophesy you that last minute is now is now you have been waiting to receive something but there was a delay there was a last minute today in this hour something must happen to you in the name of Jesus you were worried that things were tied but your faith had been challenged and you were focusing in what God has spoken but today I am here to tell you this is the last day this is the last minute this is the last hour you are about to see God honoring you you are about to see God blessing you you are about to see God blessing you it's over with that challenge I say it's over with that shame it's over with that difficulty it's over with that worry your time has come I say your time has come I say your time has come I say your time has come listen to this when your faith is being challenged you know what happened God began to deal with people around you. People began to leave you. Listen. This is a best symbol of your faith. When you see people leaving you, they don't leave you all of them. Others, they are there to inspect. They are there to inspect. They are inspectors. And there are those who thought they can help you, they leave you. The inspectors inform those who think they can help you. But when God wants to do it now, you know what he does? He even allowed the inspectors to leave you. So that they must never know how God started to bless you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Even the inspectors will run away from you. I prophesy someone who's listening to me. Those who are leaving you, they've done well for you. Because this year, this year, you will manifest the reality of the promises of your living God. I don't know if you're hearing me. You are about to shame everyone who said you won't make it. You are about to lock down those who are opposing you. You are about to reach a level where you will shock your neighbor. You are about to live your life and go to a place you are a better place than you never dream of. I see you getting up. Say I'm getting up. I see you getting up. The challenge, the challenge was to confine them. But when God said it's over, you leave your enemies here. You go to a higher place. I see you going there. I say you are going there. I say you are going there. I say I'm going there. I say I'm going there. Can I tell you this? Well, well, this is the message of Charis people. Your, your faith has been challenged. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It has been challenged. You know, since I start to sit down, sit down. Since I preach the gospel, I have never prayed against anybody. I'm telling you the truth. 
I never kneel down and say, can you see this? They must know my God. I never pray that prayer. When God revealed to me what is happening, I never pray that When God revealed to me what is happening, against the people of faith here, against the people who are called here, against the member of Charisma, I kneel down and I ask God forgiveness and say, Lord, forgive these people. They don't know your service. Because the time when your servants rise up, when you lift the standard, no one can say anything. Can I tell you this? You are about to see what you have never seen. I don't know if you are hearing me. You are about to be shocked. Can you see this too much? It's too much. This is too much. Your enemy will bow. I say your enemy will bow. Listen. I have never prayed against your enemy. Your enemy when he wants to die, he will die. But what I'm telling you, nobody will be able to subtract from you. Nobody will be able to steal from you. Why? Why? You have been waiting. Holding faith. I love people of Charis. They hold until now. But God says it's enough. It's enough. It's time to rise up. I say it's time to rise up. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this time is like what? It's like time of Joshua. When Joshua stayed beyond the river Jordan. When God say prepare yourself. It's time to go the other side. He put everything in order. There were people who were holding the covenant. Ark of covenant. And that if they touch the <inaudible> river Jordan will open. And they will enter Canaan. This is the time now that we have been given by God. That right now from this time when God says you have traveled the desert there was nothing you wanted. And when whatever you wanted you could not get it because it was a desert. Even if you have prayed for something, it won't happen because you were, you were in the desert. But now is the time of crossing over, reaching on the other side. Your faith was challenged, but it's over. I say it's over. I say it's over. I say it's over. I say it's over. I see the water open. I see you crossing. I see you crossing. Listen. This is the time of eating milk and honey. Can I prophesy? Check from two months. You check the cars you'll be driving. Check the house you'll be staying in. Check the suit you'll be wearing. Check the dress you'll be wearing. Check the lifestyle you'll be wearing. I don't know if you are hearing that. I don't know if you are hearing that. You are about to be a testimony. You are about to be a testimony. You are about to be a testimony. You are about to know me. 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 You are about to understand my God. You are about to know me. Can you see With these two months, our God will shock you. I say it will shock you. You are about to live a life without it. No more challenge. 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 You will forget the past. You will forget your enemies. I don't know if you are here. Congratulations. Sida. Do long fat. I want to tell you what you need to expect. 
Kenya kwa lewe chan tuli sanchar lele velel. With this two months, kwa kwa diche pe diche. Someone will manifest to be something that the family has never seen. Mutomu uko van doli lapa lisa zanga leivon. With these two months, kwa kwa diche pe diche. Think about right now you don't have money. Na ha na na jaron li cheleta iyo. But with these two months, manaka kwa diche pe diche. These two, kwa diche pe di fell. People who think you are nothing because you are not working, they are about to praise your God. With these two months, those who are supposed to be used by God, I'm giving you two months. I'm giving you two months. You are supposed to be used by God. Two months. Two months. Two months, two months is enough. You'll manifest from now. I say you'll manifest from now. How many of you are hearing me? You are manifesting from now. That challenge is over. In your job, that challenge is over. In your business, that challenge is over. In your marriage, that challenge is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Can you say that with excitement? Say it with excitement. It is finished. It's over. That challenge. Challenge Jella. It's over. Defeated. It's over. Defeated. It's over. Defeated. I say it's over. Defeated. It's over, Mama. Defeated. Defeated. It's over, my sister. It's over. 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 That challenge. Challenge jail. Devil was using it. Just Satan and Anja dishumisha. Using it. Adishumisha. Because he knows. Kalaba kalaruwa. Devil knows. Satan uti ba uti. Even those who worship Satan knows. Leba ba shumish. That you are not ordinary. Ba uti boro we na unwa lefel. They know you are not ordinary. Ba uti boro wa si wana wale sitoa edi wale fel. I'm not seeing ordinary people here. I keep wanting to see two ahead of me. I'm not seeing ordinary people. I keep wanting to see two ahead. Here, more. Because God wants to bring you to a level where everybody must admire you. Mama, to call fellow soldiers on Uduma. Jealousy people will faint. I don't know if you are hearing me. Your time has come. Tell your neighbor your time. Is now. Is now. Your faith is important. Your faith is important. Your faith was 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 important.